Hi everybody, it's Cindy, That Crafting Lady. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here, and welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really appreciate you doing so because it helps my channel grow. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload more videos. And um, today we're going to be making a little snowman out of clay pots. And these are little, but I guess you could do it out of any size clay pot and um, make it for your outdoor decor. But we're going to use little ones, and um, I'm going to make something very cute for you. So I can't wait to show you and share this with you. So let's get crafting, everybody. Okay, so we're going to need four clay pots, uh, some scrap wool that I use for my rug hooking, a couple of buttons, some black paint, some white paint, and some red paint, just acrylics. Um, and, of course, we're going to need our Sherbonder because stick with the best. I love my Sherbonder. All right. We're also going to use a pom-pom and a little jingle bell. And we'll probably use a couple other little things as we go along. The first thing we're going to do is want to paint our um, one of the clay pots black. So we'll get a little black out of there. Get it out. There we go. A little bit of black just enough to paint the one pot and we're going to need um, a little bit more white because we're going to paint the other three pots white i think i need to replace my white i don't think i have much left there we go and just a little bit of red for his nose gotta have a little red nose on our snowman if we're not going to do a carrot all right, so grab a brush and let's get painting on the black hat. It's really cute. You can just keep going. Um, I thought it was going to take more than one coat to paint these, but it really only took one coat um, for all four pots. Sorry, I kind of get off of a uh, frame there for a little bit, but it's just painting a pot. I think you can figure out what I'm doing. Sorry again. Just make sure that you look around it and get all your spots covered. Don't want anything showing. You don't have to worry about the inside because you're not going to see the inside. So we'll set that aside to dry and now we'll do the white. So we're going to paint all three of these white and basically it's the same deal so I'm just going to speed it up here. So you don't have to really watch me paint all of these white and just sit and be bored. So there's one. Now I'll get the second one done. Make sure cover everything. And on the third, there we go. Good. Get it all set. So we've got all four pots painted. Now we're going to have to set and um, basically wait a while and let them dry. So now that they're dry, I'm going to take the black one and I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I'm just going to paint the brim of the um, pot with the Mod Podge and just go all the way around the brim and get a good coat on there because we're going to add some uh, faux snow to it. There we go. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want it all over the pot. I just really want the brim of his hat um, to be covered. And again, I'm off camera. Sorry about that, guys. I'm really going to try to be better with more when I do more videos. All right, now that we got some Mod Podge on there, we're going to take our faux snow from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using one of the Dollar Tree plates um, to catch it all so it doesn't go everywhere. And I'm just going to sprinkle it right over the top of where I painted that um, Mod Podge on. Get a good coating on there. You want it all covered up. So it looks like he's got a nice brim on his hat. Now there's a couple spots I've missed. Get it in there. Put some more on. And then get it 
going. There we go. I think I missed a spot around back. Let me look. Yep, I did. I missed a spot. So um, I think I might need to add a little bit more snow. Is it sticking well? I can't see because it's off camera, right? Or you can't see. I can see it. We got to add a little Mod Podge because it uh, didn't quite have enough to get it to stick right there. Got it. Now we'll add a little snow right in that one spot. That should stick pretty good. Awesome. Kind of clean it off a little and let that dry. There we go. Got it all clean. Cover our Mod Podge up so it doesn't dry out. And move this stuff out of the way. We don't need snow going everywhere. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put our little pom pom on the top of his hat. So we'll take our sure bonder and put some glue right around the hole that's on his, the pot and then put our little pom pom on there. Make sure we smush it in a little so it doesn't fly up. And now we will put a little bit of glue on the end of the um, jingle bell and add that right on. There we go. We got it. Okay, good. Now we can, his hat's all done. Set that aside for a few minutes and we'll start working on the rest of our snowman. So I think we need to do his face next. So I'm going to take um, the back side of my paintbrush and I'm going to give him some eyes. Yeah, make sure I do it the right side up, right? There we go. So one eye and another. Oh, first, there we go. Okay. That looks good. Maybe a little bit more on that one eye there. Make sure they're nice and even. You don't need a lop-eyed snowman. There, got his eyes done. I'll we'll wipe our paintbrush off and let's give him a nose. So we'll use the red to give him his nose. Perfect. Look at that. It's got a little face on him. Looks nice. Now, of course, he's going to need to have a mouth. So I'm going to use my Sharpie for this. And I'm just going to draw a little mouth. There you go. Just a little smiley mouth. There. And now he has a full face. Very cute. Alright. And we're going to take our hat and our um, face and put them together with our sure bonder. So I'm just going around the edge. There, I got back into frame for you. Go around the edge with, with the sure bonder glue. And then we're going to put those two pieces together. There they go. All the way around. Don't want to miss any spots. Got it covered. And now put them together. And just kind of smush them in together. Awesome. Now we have a head and a hat. All right, let's work on the bottom half of his body. So we're going to put these two together the same way that we put the hat onto his head. We'll just put the two body pieces together. So we'll get that uh, glue all the way around. And just put them together. Okay. Line them up and smooch. Here we go. All right, there's a little glue seeping out, so I'm going to wipe it off. Worked out pretty good, uh, except you can kind of see a little bit of the glue. 
pull it off. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. So I'm going to take a little bit of paint just to cover up that area a little bit because it just kind of shows through just a little. So cover it up. There we go. All done. Perfect. Looks good. So next we're going to take our buttons and give our snowman his buttons. And we're just going to put those on um, the top of the um, upper one there, the upper part of his body. I'll do one right on the brim and then we'll do one on the pot part. And I want to make sure because it's a two hole button that the button holes go up and down because that just kind of helps with the illusion that there are buttons on him. And one more. There we go. A little bit of glue. I have my little Dollar Tree coaster there so it'll catch any glue drips. Get our glue strings out of the way. And oh, you know what? They didn't line up real good. Let me pull that one off because I can't get it to move over because that sure bonder really works. So let's try it again. And get it lined up better this time. There we go. Much better. There. That looks good. Awesome. To so get two buttons. Now we're going to put the head on the body. So we want a good amount of glue and make sure that we uh, put his face facing forward. Um, we don't need him looking over his shoulder or having his head on backwards. This isn't frozen. And line them up and just hold them together until the glue kind of sets. And we'll be done here very shortly. So oh, he's looking so cute. What else does he need? Oh, he needs his scarf. So I'm going to take both pieces of wool. They're two different shades of green. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on his back of his neck. And then I'll just tie the uh, wool strips right around him. So I'll put, make sure that both uh, strips are seated into the glue. And then we'll give him a scarf. Tie it up. There we go. Make it look cute. Doesn't really need a double knot, but that looks good. Now it's a little too long, so we'll just give it a trim. There we go. All trimmed off. All right. What else does he need? Um, he's looking good, but I think he needs some arms. So I've got a couple twigs that um, I just cut down to size and we'll glue those on with our sure bonder. We'll put a little glue on uh, the end there and stick that right on. Hold it until it sets. There it goes. Good. Awesome. Oh, look at that. So cute. All right, and a little glue on the other arm, other twig, and let's put that um, right on the other side, right where the other arm goes. Hold it tight. Don't want it falling off on us, peoples. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? Oh, I just love this. It's so cute. All right, so I guess our completed snowman is done. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I don't think um, I've asked you for that yet. Um, and I would really appreciate you subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. And until next time, live fully, love deeply, and learn something new every day. Bye, guys.